Good evening. This is the meeting of the Urban Renewal Agency for the City of Salem, October 17, 2011. Will the recorder please call the roll? Board Member Bennett? Here. Board Member Tesler? Present. Board Member Nanke? Here. Board Member Claussen? Here. Board Member Dickey? Here. Board Member Thomas? Here. Board Member Cannon? Yes. Board Member Clem? Here. Chair Peterson? Here. We have a special guest with us tonight, you might notice. Standing to my left, Daniel Rogers. And Daniel is working on his merit badge for the Boy Scouts, and I've asked him to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Yay. Would you please make a motion? Uh, Madam Mayor, I move uh, approval of the agenda for the special meeting of the Urban Renewal Agency. Second. It's been moved by Member Bennett and seconded by Member Tesler to approve the, um, the agenda for the special meeting. All those in favor say aye. I'm gonna, aye. I want, yeah. I'm Just sorry. With additions. With additions, deletions. With additions, and all right. <laughs> And let's see, well, let's go through the additions then. What do we have? A different number, I think. Yes. It, was, it was a change of recommendation. Change of, yeah. It was a correction. Yeah. It's a correction on item 4.3A. Yeah. Okay. The dollars is like eight. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carries. Thank you. We have public comment this evening. Here. We have one person who has signed up under agenda item three. Chuck Fisher is. Mr. Fisher here? Uh, Madam, Madam Mayor, I, yes. I meant to sign up under 4A regarding the bridge application. Uh, maybe oh. I got to, or didn't see the correction. Uh, it's 4.3A. No, we just approved the agenda. We so this, that's fine. Well, welcome, Mr. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Fisher, we appreciate uh, you being here. Thank you, Madam Mayor. My name is Chuck Fisher, and my business is at 945 Columbia Street Northeast. I'm here tonight as a board member of Friends of Two Bridges. It was <laughs> quite an honor when uh, Hazel Patton asked me to join the board since my wife and I each had a role in the uh, Union Street Railroad Bridge completion and, and I certainly want to see the completion of the bridge to Minto Brown. So I was asked to come and speak as uh, represent, representing the Friends of Two Bridges and to most strongly support the staff recommendation to apply for the flexible fundings from ODOT. Uh, we see this as a critical first step in moving this project forward. It positions the c city and urban renewal agency well in future grant applications. Next spring will be the transportation enhancement grants, will, which help to fund the railroad bridge. And, uh, and all of these grantors look for progress being made and commitment by the city and the, and the uh, jurisdictions. And so this would bode well to uh, move this important project for three parks and two bridges, the jewel of Salem forward. Thank you. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. We appreciate your testimony this evening. Are there questions for Mr. Fisher? All right. 
There are none. Thank you again Thank you. for coming down. Okay. And our next item, uh, Ms. Member Bennett, would you like to make a motion regarding the consent calendar and the action items? Yes, Madam Mayor. I move, uh, uh, and it shows up a couple different, 4A staff recommendation. It's been moved by Member Bennett and seconded by Member Nanke to approve the staff recommendation. Although, is there discussion? Yes, Member Clem. Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. I just want to emphasize, as your representative on, on the Salem-Kaiser Area Transportation Study, which is the federal funding committee for local disbursements of funds, that this application, as Chuck uh, said, puts you sort of in line for being competitive on future grant applications. I think it's important for the public to know we are not building the bridge. This is really a million dollar grant request to get the whole process started. And I was hoping we could elaborate on what that million dollars would be for um, if, if we got the grant. Yes, this uh, funding is to request funding to build a trail from where the uh, proposed bridge will land on Minto Island to connect uh, directly to Minna Brown Park. We, Council earlier um, approved and we've negotiated an easement with Boise for a trail along that path. So this is the, the beginning of the funding for the trail portion. Uh, Member Nanke. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Kind of in line with our last week's discussion in um, permits and, and grant funds. Um, by taking this money, are we in line to uh, pay a lot more than we would have to if we didn't take the money? And I'll ask Mr. Wells to respond. Yes, thank you. Um, John Wells from the Urban Development Department. Um, yes, that's a good question. Uh, in preparation for this grant, um, we recognize that there would be federal, there'd be a federal nexus, uh, primarily with the permitting for, uh, for this project as well as the bridge. And so have met in advance with ODOT and um, consulted the agencies as to what would be involved and what the requirements are. And we have budgeted this, um, with this project to assume and to take that into account. Okay, excellent, thanks. All right, are there further, further discussion? We'll vote on the motion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Motion carries. Thank you. There is no further business for the Urban Renewal Agency, so this meeting is adjourned. We now move to the special meeting of the Salem City Council. Oh, sorry. Okay. We now move to the special meeting of the Salem City Council for October 17, 2011. Will the recorder please call the roll? Councillor Bennett? Here. Councillor Chesler? Present. Councillor Nanke? Here. Councillor Clausen? Here. Councillor Dickey? Here. Councillor Thomas? Here. Councillor Cannon? Yes. Councillor Clam? Here. Mayor Peterson? Here. Thank you. Councillor Bennett, would you please make a motion to approve the special meeting agenda? Yes, Madam Mayor. I move approval of the special meeting agenda with additions. Second. It's been moved by Councillor Bennett and seconded by Councillor Nanke to approve the agenda for the special meeting of the Salem City Council with the additions of the, is this an addition or a? Testimony for the public hearing. So, so it's simply the addition of testimony, item 4.B. Okay, all right. All, all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carries unanimously. Okay. Signed up. Okay. We have no one signed up to speak, so we'll move to the first agenda item, which is the council endorsement for the mayor to sign letters of support 
for the Salem Area Mass Transit District Grant Application. Councillor Bennett, would you make a motion? Madam Mayor, I move uh, the City Council authorize sending support letters from the Mayor to the Oregon Department of Transportation regarding the Salem Area Mass Transit District Grant applications. Second. It's been moved by Councillor Bennett and seconded by Councillor Tesler to, uh, to authorize the, the city and the, the mayor to send the special letters uh, to the Department of Transportation on, depart on behalf of the Salem Area Mass Transit District grant applications. Uh, yes, discussion, Councillor Dickey. Thanks, Madam Mayor. Um, I'm going to recuse myself from this vote as my um, husband works for the Transit District. Okay, thank you very much. Other discussion? Uh, any discussion? All right. We'll call for the motion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. And Councillor Dickey recused herself. Motion carries. Our next agenda item is the public hearing regarding the City Council Ward's reapportionment. Will the recorder please introduce it? The City Council will now hold a public hearing regarding City Council Ward's reapportionment. Thank you. And do we have a report from staff? Yes, indeed we do, Madam Mayor. Councilors, my name is Vicki Harden-Woods. I am your Community Development Director, and I'm here to give you just a very short report on the Council Ward's reapportionment process. First thing I'd like to talk about is uh, a recommendation from the staff about the roadmap to follow tonight that we think may get you through to the end. Jason, if you could get us to the roadmap, I would point it out to them. Thank you. So I think to make this work this evening, if you would first select a preferred alternative, so of the one, two, or three alternatives that are suggested for the ward boundaries tonight, if you would select one, and then second, uh, after you select an alternative, actually review and approve the minor changes that are in your staff report, and if you choose them, uh, make motions to incorporate them and then see if there are any other minor changes that you want to make and then that should conclude the process if you get through all that tonight. Then I want to give just a brief description of what you're looking at this evening. So you have maps that are up here, maps that you have been provided, maps that have been posted on the website for several weeks now, and some maps for the public to be able to view that show the three big ideas. And the three big ideas are alternative one, retains downtown in two separate wards. Alternative two, consolidates all of downtown into one ward and alternative three creates a central city ward. Those are the three big ideas. All three alternatives move a portion of West Salem into Ward 1 because of the population there has grown to the point where it cannot uh, be sustained by just one ward. All three alternatives um, move a, make a, an East Salem ward for Ward 6, and all three alternatives move the state hospital into Ward 2. So they all share that, but they're different by the description that you see on the screen. And then I'd like to go over the minor changes that are um, proposed to the alternatives. The first change, and for the purpose of your being able to consider these this evening and decide if you, which ones you want to do, let me call this change number one. Change number one includes all of, so this change would be necessary if you adopt either alternative two or alternative three. If you adopt alternative one, then you would not need to take this action. This comes about as a result of the work session that you had and comments that we've received from counselors so far. So this would be change number one, and it actually puts all of the Gaiety Hill Bush Pasture Park Historic District into ward number two, so it adjusts that boundary. Then change number two, and this change would be necessary only if you adopt alternative three, it takes the um, boundary line between wards three and seven and straightens it out and includes more of it into ward three um, as shown on the map. So this is change number two and it adjusts the boundary between wards three and seven. 
And change number three would again only be necessary if you adopt alternative three. And this adjusts the boundary between ward one and ward two. You can see it's just kind of a minor little shifting there. Um, and that makes all of the Nin neighborhood and Lansing neighborhoods incomplete wards. So that's a minor adjustment. None of those adjustments significantly reallocate population in a way that would unbalance the population distribution for the wards. So those are the three comments that we have heard um, from counselors over the course of the last few weeks, uh, suggested changes. So if I can go back to the roadmap to finish up. If you would um, select preferred alternative first, first take testimony, then select an alternative, then look at changes one, two, and three and see if you want to incorporate them, and then discuss any other changes that you want to make. I think that will get you through the evening. Thank you very much. Are there questions right now for uh, Ms. Woods? No, all right. We do have some individuals signed up, two individuals signed up to speak tonight. Frank Walker and then Carol Smith. So Mr. Walker, if you'll go to the podium and then Carol Smith following him, state your name and address, please. I know you know this drill very well, having served on council. Welcome, welcome Thank you to council. Thank you very much, and it's nice to be back here. My name's Frank Walker. My address is 1480 Jamestown Street, Southeast Salem, Oregon, 97302. Can you speak closer to the sure. microphone? Um, just wanted to make some comments about the alternatives. Uh, having served in Ward 1, that Chuck now so ably represents, uh, and knowing that at the time I served, the downtown was split between two councilors, was a huge advantage uh, for me personally, and I think for Jim Randall at the time, if he were here to speak. Uh, there's a lot of duty there, but there's also the vote of downtown. Uh, to have only one vote for downtown, me and given its importance to the region and certainly to the city, I'd hate to see it all consolidated into one ward. That would be my main concern. I don't have a lot of other concerns based on everything else I've looked at. Uh, the shift uh, of downtown, uh, formerly the town of West Salem, into Ward 1 I think is a wise move. It allows the population issue to be addressed. So I just wanted to state my support uh, for the alternative that would keep downtown either one or three in uh, under the auspices of two counselors rather than one. Thank you. Thank you. Are, are there questions for Mr. Walker? Councillor Clem. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Frank, you said either alternative one or three you yes. would support? Yes. Okay, super, thank you. Councillor Clawson. I do have a question, Mr. Walker. I just want to be clear, alternative three appears to not split downtown. Did you intend to mean yeah. alternative two? Yeah. Uh, um, then I would, it's alternative um, is one that still keeps downtown and two, mm -hmm. two wards. Uh -huh. That would be oh, one, okay. one, and, one only. And number one two one. also, alternative one and two have the downtown split between two counselors. No? I don't think so. Oh, just one, just, just one. one. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So I would support alternative one then. Okay. Okay. Thank Thanks you. I just wanted to make sure I would thank you. It. Appreciate that. That's right. Okay. That's right. Good. All right. Carol Smith. Good evening. Uh, my name is Carol Smith. I reside at 363 Court Street uh, in downtown Salem. I come here tonight uh, to represent 42 businesses that have signed a petition in favor of alternative number three, and I'd like to, to read what the uh, petition says. There are three alternative ward boundary scenarios for consideration by council. Alternatives one and two represent minimum deviation from the current ward boundaries, and alternative three proposes a reconfigured ward boundary around a central city ward methodology. We support alternative number three for Salem City Council wards reapportionment. Alternative number three allows one councilor to represent the North Broadway retail area, the historic downtown core area, and West Salem's downtown. All three areas have very similar characteristics. The downtown areas would benefit from, greatly from a, a concentrated central city ward representation. But I just want to remind you that we feel that all the councilors represent downtown. Yes. So it's, it's not as big an issue for me that we have one. I like having one. Um, but I'm available for questions. 
Are there questions for Ms. Smith? No? Oh, well, thank you very much for coming. We appreciate your testimony. All right, now we go back to see if there are questions of staff. <coughs> Councillor Clem. Madam Mayor, I don't have a question for staff, but I do want to uh, um, pass on um, the support of from the land use chair of the West Salem Neighborhood Association, and I spoke last night. They're meeting tonight to consider some important land use matters. So they regret not being able to be here to uh, throw in their towels, so to speak, in terms of their comments. But they're supportive of, of all, any of the three because the changes to Ward 8 are, are essentially minimal between all three. So they just regret their inability to attend and say that, but they're supportive of any of the three options. Thank you, and we appreciate that, that input from them, and we appreciate that they're diligently doing their work <laughs> tonight. Okay. Uh, Councillor Thomas. Thanks. Can you tell me what the population for each three alternatives would be? Yes. Um, and it's in your staff report. Each alternative has the population distribution between the wards, so there are eight different numbers for each one of the alternatives. Are you particular Four. in it? Interested in one six, ward? Six, yeah. Six. So for alternative one, the population would be 19,845. For alternative two, the population for ward six would be 18,981. And for alternative three, the population for ward six is 18,981. Okay, thank okay. you. Further questions? All right, there are no further questions. The public hearing is now closed. Councillor Bennett, would you like to make a motion? Yes, Madam Mayor, I move alternative three uh, of the uh, reapportion alternatives for the city of Salem ward boundaries. Is there a second? There is a second. But is there, does the maker of the motion include the three changes recommended by staff? Is that how you want us to do it? I, I wasn't sure how you wanted to do it. I, I think I would prefer that you vote on the main alternative first and then move the three changes. Okay. Mm, I'm prepared no, to. No, there'll have to be an amendment. Because okay. the main motion is for alternative three. So if there are going to be changes, we have to go through it? the amendment process. Okay. You could do it all at once. I'll do it all at once then. I thought I understood it to be in pieces. So uh, I move alternative three, Madam Mayor, with the proposed changes uh, listed in the uh, staff report to alternative three, which includes the Gaiety Hill area, the changes uh, in boundaries between wards seven and three, and the change in boundaries between wards one and five. And they show up in your packet. Second okay. accepts the modification to the motion. All right, it's been moved by, it's been moved by Councillor Bennett and seconded by Councillor Cannon to accept the uh, recommendation of, to select ward, excuse me, to a, select alternative three with the modifications that were listed. Now, are there questions or discussion? Uh, Councillor Clem. Just want to confirm, what's the effective date of when the wards will actually change? You will have to adopt an ordinance, right? Uh, and so um, I'm not sure what the status of the legal descriptions are. Is it safe to say January 1st, March 1st? Uh, I've already got people asking, Chuck. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I think it's pretty safe to say that it, it, it could be effective as early as January 1st, if not earlier. Okay, thank you. Are there further, uh, Councillor Tesler? Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I'd just like to say I did talk to quite a few people downtown myself. I didn't talk to 42 people, but I did talk to quite a few people myself. And although I did hear from some people that they were sad um, to see the two counselors go for a ward down to downtown, <clears throat> my esteemed colleague, Frank Walker, I respect your testimony entirely. Um, I do feel that uh, 
given the recent changes that are going to occur downtown that I'm sure that one counselor would be able to more than sufficiently um, represent a business district downtown. And so I do wish my cohort, Councillor Bennett, the best of luck with the central ward. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Nanke and then Councillor Clem. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, similar to Carol Smith's comment, we all do look after downtown, so I'm not as concerned. Originally, Ward 3 used to go and, and take a big chunk of downtown as well, and why, why I miss that. Um, I still, you know, hear and see, and it, it's the piece that kind of defines Salem to, uh, to visitors and what have you, to the conference center. So, I mean, it's our duty to look out for the entire city, even though we have our own wards, and, and downtown is a big element of that. So, um, I think it's a great plan with very little uh, hostilities as compared to 10 years ago. Uh, Councillor Clem. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I just wanted to raise this issue for potential future discussion. Um, the West Salem Re Redevelopment Advisory Board, which is urban de renewal and not under the context of this meeting, but um, there have been some folks who are, um, have voiced um, concern that the, as I would then, if we adopt this, represent mostly the residential areas of West Salem and, and, and Ward 1 would represent the more commercial aspects of West Salem, that we make sure that the composition of the redevelopment board uh, really uh, brings into the focus that there's now two wards and uh, we don't want to create a division of commercial ward versus residential ward. Um, when it was under one ward, we didn't have to be wary of that, but as, uh, as we move on and the wards tend to stay in place for 10 years, um, we may want to take a look at the Redevelopment Advisory Board composition, uh, and, and I'm not sure if that's a city charter or, or ordinance issue, but um, I'll discuss it with staff and with, uh, with Councillor Bennett and others as well. So just wanted to make sure that flag is, is noted. <laughs> That's an excellent comment, uh, Councillor Clem. Uh, let's see, Councillor Nanke and then Councillor Clausen. Thank you, Madam. Just, uh, and it, it's nice, Councillor Bennett's schedule is somewhat flexible to where with all of downtown, he's able to interface with those people who may only be open during <coughs> the day. Um, in the future, there, there could be a councillor that, you know, has a lot of restrictions because of their employment that may not have that luxury. So uh, just to, to throw that out on the table as well, that sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for because you may get someone that everybody downtown screams that they you know, can't meet with. Mm -hmm. Okay, Councillor uh, Clausen. Um, so as I was sitting here looking at Alternative 3, Ward 1 staring me in the face, I noticed something that I didn't notice before, and I guess this is a question for Ms. Woods. Um, I see what appears to be that the with the hospital Salem Hospital's acquisition of the School for the Deaf, looks like we split Salem Hospital's ward in half between their land and half between two wards. I don't know if that's a big deal. Does that effectively do anything to us? I, I don't think it does. There's not really any population. There's no there. population, so there's no representation. Okay, I'm looking at the two it would split between, and they don't look like it feel like it's a big deal, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> well, you never know. It could become a village. <laughs> All right. Further questions, comments? I'd like to make just a couple of comments, and one is uh, thank you, Councillor Clem, for your comments regarding West Salem and, and the West Salem Urban Renewal District. It is crucially important that we all pay close attention to the relationship between the commercial areas in West Salem and the residential. I want to commend you because you've always been able to sort of jump back and forth with those and, and represent both well, and we will keep that in mind. Um, I'd also like to say that I, I applaud and agree with what uh, Councillor Nanke was saying. We all must have a vested interest in downtown. We do because it affects the entire community, it affects the entire city, and it actually affects and services far beyond the city of Salem. It's very important that we all share in 
the very best planning and the very best promotion that we can all do for our downtown. Uh, my last thing I'd like to say is uh, how proud I am of our council. When we began the redistricting discussions, I asked that we do this with the thought of what is best for the future for the people of Salem. Not as what is best for any one of us particularly, or what might be best for one neighborhood association or another group of people. But thinking down the long road, 10 years, thinking about the entire community, please always let's think of those things first. And I am so proud of our council because you have done that. I, I know that you've worked on these maps and you've poured over the lines and the blocks and the margins and the numbers, and you've always done it with that thought of what is best for the community, and I really applaud all of you for that. Thank you very much. Now, Councillor Bennett, do you, did you finish your motion? You made your motion, and I believe Councillor Cannon seconded that motion. I think we're ready for the vote. Have All we those. The public hearing? I'm sorry. Yes. Oh yeah, we closed the public okay. hearing right. already. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we did do that. All right. All those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Motion carries. All right. And I don't believe that we have any further business to come before this body. We are adjourned. Yeah. Wield the hammer. Yeah. And the executive session is in.